Mapbox is a suite of tools for designing totally custom, uh, fast, uh, beautiful interactive maps and serves as a platform for actually sharing these maps across the web or onto the mobile. Uh, this market is absolutely huge, right? There are over a million sites using Google Maps right now, and this is only going to grow as location becomes more important to actual app development. And we actually see uh, custom maps being a huge product differentiator and something that can be a real comparative advantage for certain, for certain companies. So when we talk about map making here, there, there's a lot going on. There's a data collection side, there's an analysis side, there's a map design side. I only want to talk about the map design side today. Um, and specifically, I want to talk about our open source design tool, uh, TileMill, and really walk through the process of what it's like to make uh, a totally custom map. So everything from actually designing the map on your system to publishing up to the cloud to then actually integrating these maps into your application. So what's cool about TileMill is it allows you to take your data whether this is a spreadsheet, uh, your uh, company's API, OpenStreetMap level data, open data from the city, and make a totally custom map on, on your desktop. It's fully cross-platform, one-click installer. So here you can see dragging a couple, uh, couple dials, uh, stacking a couple data sets, or going into edit mode and using Cardo, a CSS-like styling language, you're able to design a custom base level map and then publish this map directly up to the cloud. What and then from here, it's about actually integrating this into your site. Uh, this can be as easy as dropping in a YouTube video like embed or actually working with our API. And this is a lot more than just hosting, right? Uh, Mapbox manages all your maps for you. Everything from where people are looking on your map to actually, uh, to actually doing compositing and on-the-fly bandwidth detection. So that no matter how much data you're actually putting on your map, that this stuff is always really, really fast from IE7 all the way up to, to mobile. And I, I want to uh, go forward a little. I want to walk through a couple of examples of people actually using this and how this, how this works to make this really concrete. Street Easy is a real estate uh, company that um, Brady just mentioned up in New York. Uh, they recently switched from Google Maps to, to Mapbox uh, using this custom base layer that they made of, uh, of, of the city. Look at this, it's gorgeous. Uh, not only do they now have a custom look and feel for their site, but the actual map itself uh, gives them, uh, allows them to be smarter at business. They get to show the exact neighborhoods they want to feature and they get to show the actual points of interest around, around the listings. And this is Sebastian's first map he ever made. Uh, I encourage everybody to go check out his talk uh, this afternoon at 4.20, uh, Google or not to Google. Um, it's also an interesting detail here that by switching to Mapbox from Google, uh, Street Easy is going to save over $200,000 this year. Uh, Mapbox is also being used to tell really big data stories, uh, especially with media organizations. Here, NPR is, uh, is looking at the change in uh, census population. So you can see the purple areas where people are leaving, green areas where people are growing to. Uh, there's green donuts. That, that's the growth in the suburbia around the cities. What's powerful here is quickly being able to drill down into the data now, all the way down to the census track, allowing people to experience big data right around them uh, faster than ever before. There are over 72,000 interactive features on this map. And that, that actually works just as fast in IE as on a mobile. Um, Mapbox has also had a lot of traction within the, the federal government space. There are nine different federal agencies working on this. And uh, one of the more exciting examples was actually aid last fall around the horn trying to talk about their coordination for the famine relief effort. Uh, here, not just showing the situation, but adding, adding actual context here. Right? I can actually see, wait, what, what caused the famine? OK, so let, let's look at three years of rain history and drought. And let's now dive in to actually see what effects this is having. Here I'm looking at Mogadishu, specifically OpenStreetMap level data within Mogadishu. I can quickly drill down all the way and see actual camps in Mogadishu and the individual structures. These are all examples of overlays and custom base layers that folks are making, all with open source tools and utilizing open data. In addition to, in addition to tile mill, uh, we've also launched Mapbox Streets. Uh, this is what Brady mentioned in regards to uh, Foursquare switching. This is a gorgeous uh, base layer with worldwide coverage, all powered by OpenStreetMap level data. Uh, this, this means we have incredible access to data from uh, you know, streets of DC to Moscow to all the way down to homes Syria. This block level detail is absolutely in incredible. And you can see how Foursquare is using it here, showing where, where I am in the city right now and what's around me, to helping me search and uh, figure out uh, what, where I should actually go, go eat tonight.
Uh, and this, this, I mean, this is a gorgeous looking map, right? And it looks really good on Foursquare site. But like I said in the beginning, design really matters. So today here at Wear, I'm really excited to announce uh, custom styles for Mapbox Streets, which is providing a full UI effect for people to design their own custom, uh, custom map styles. Uh, let me actually just walk through what this looks like. Uh, all through the web, you can sign up for a free mapbox.com account. Uh, signing in, you now actually see what it's like to create a new map, and you quickly see Mapbox Streets right here. You see in the sidebar, you can actually quickly start editing this. You get a drop down of certain presets allowing me to change the uh, colors. Here I can have a dark theme. Let me actually zoom in to see what it's like on a particular city level. I can change the hue, I can change the saturation, all within seconds to frame this out exactly how I want for my custom app. And this is a huge, huge differentiator point. Maybe I'm a journalist and actually want to have a really clean uh, database layer. Uh, here's, here's a really light version just within San Francisco. Maybe I'm a journalist actually writing an article about the Mideast, right? And I'm writing it for an American audience, so I need the labels in English. This is basically, this is an interface between uh, the rich OpenStreetMap level data and that's trying to make it highly, highly accessible. And once you've designed your map, you're able to quickly grab an embed. You can make multiple maps very quickly here um, all, and store them all within your Mapbox account. Uh, again, uh, this is now live on mapbox.com. Sign up for a free account and really start working with the incredible open data. And now back to, back to what Brady was talking about and a you know, term Alex Howard's been uh, uh, communicating a lot about. This year of the open map, this, like, like Brady said, this isn't new. What's going on here is you're seeing these open data communities that started a long time ago in the larger open data movement really starting to hit a point of maturity, simultaneous to a lot of open source uh, communities uh, farther developing. I mean that not just in the way, so like as the open source tools develop, the open data can become a lot more actionable. Uh, Tilemill is a good example of that, but also lower lying uh, technology is really important here. You know, we've built our whole stack, both Tilemill and Mapbox uh, and Mapbox.com all on Node.js. This has given us incredible speed wins. And it also allows us, as a, as a small team, to, uh, to actually be working with a much larger development community. And, and, and that kind of co-creation is really, really exciting, because this is more than just code. This is also about community. The fact that Cardo, the styling language, was inspired by Magursky's Cascadenic, the fact that then Visuality is using Cardo in their Cardo DB, the fact that OpenGeo is using some of Mapbox street uh, base maps in actually in their own, um, in, their, in some of their routing applications. We're working together um, as a community. I can't tell you how many people I'm able to look out at right now and, and the kind of collaboration happening here. And that really is gonna start changing the story of what's gonna play out over the next couple months. You know, I think, I think a lot of the, the focus to, to date here, uh, you know, so far this year has been around this like, there's a Google exodus happening. But let's, let's be honest here. Google's, Google's been really honest. Hey, they're only gonna charge this 0.35%. And while that 0.35% is a potentially very interesting market here, that you have to wonder, wait, wait, and how much is this worth? You can quickly run some calculations, looking at where certain people fall in to see that this is, you know, hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars a year market. I think the more interesting market here is pushing out and pulling back out and looking at ways to make technology easier to use and really make open data a lot easier to use. And there are dozens of companies here in this room actually pushing on that right now. And I think that's really gonna be the story uh, going forward for the, for the rest of the year. Yes, this is a year of the open map and we're about to see, if you think the last year moved fast, wait until you see, see the next six months. So we're seeing, uh, we're seeing a lot of demand uh, for alternatives to traditional map providers. And we're looking at making that really easy, and we're trying to develop all of this in the open. So thank you very much. I uh, look forward to uh, collaborating with, uh, with many of the developers out there. Thanks.